We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Rigorous Honesty, January 26th. Who wishes to be rigorously honest and tolerant? Who wants to confess his faults to another and make restitution for harm done? Who cares anything about a higher power, let alone meditation and prayer? Who wants to sacrifice time and energy in trying to carry AA's message to the next sufferer? No, the average alcoholic, self-centered in the extreme, doesn't care for this prospect. Unless he has to do these things in order to stay alive himself. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 24. I am an alcoholic. If I drink, I will die. My, what power, energy, and emotion this simple statement generates in me. But it's really all I need to know for today. Am I willing to stay alive today? Am I willing to stay sober today? Am I willing to ask for help? And am I willing to be a help to another suffering alcoholic today? Have I discovered the fatal nature of my situation? What must I do today to stay sober? When times were good and we could drink like normal men, most of us didn't have a need or a want for a God in their lives, yet they felt as if something was missing, even though they seemed on the outside to have everything anyone would ever want. What they had was a God-sized hole that they were trying to fill with stuff and exciting times fueled by alcohol and debauchery. When times got bad, relationships frayed, money was gone, the law was after us, we blamed others and played the victim. Our health had issues like never before. The world was coming down around us. Our very lives were at risk and we continued to minimize it with grandiose, fantastical thinking. The lucky ones who have recovered discovered a solution they didn't know existed. Their brains didn't know what they needed. Pick up a kit of spiritual principles or go to the bitter end, it says in the book. It was and is a life or death journey. A decision to live or die. If you want what the sober men of Alcoholics Anonymous have, do what they do. Admit your powerlessness. Come to believe in a power to restore your sanity and commit to turning your life over. Get in there and do the work. The payoff is a true lifesaver. The work becomes a way of life, and you will find yourself loving it, the work and your new life. Rigorous Honesty, January 26th. Who wishes to be rigorously honest and tolerant? Who wants to confess his faults to another and make restitution for harm done? Who cares anything about a higher power, let alone meditation and prayer? Who wants to sacrifice time and energy in trying to carry AA's message to the next sufferer? No, the average alcoholic, self-centered in the extreme, doesn't care for this prospect. Unless he has to do these things in order to stay alive himself. 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 24. I am an alcoholic. If I drink, I will die. My, what power, energy, and emotion this simple statement generates in me. But it's really all I need to know for today. Am I willing to stay alive today? Am I willing to stay sober today? Am I willing to ask for help? And am I willing to be a help to another suffering alcoholic today? Have I discovered the fatal nature of my situation? What must I do today to stay sober? Carpe the diem, boys and girls. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.